people have pled guilty. You know, I, right, right, right after I was elected, I went to a, what they call a G7 meeting, all the NATO leaders. I was in, I was in the south of England. And I sat down and I said, America's back. And Mitterrand from Germany, I mean, from France, looked at me and said, uh, said, you know, what, why, how, how long are you back for? <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah, thank you, thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor, hit the like, hit that subscribe, poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in, buckle in, and let's go. Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, folks, what are we talking about today? Man, so today's episode is called I Told You So. Yeah, I told you so. I love this part of the show. I told you so. Man, oh man, we have been saying this from the beginning that this January 6th has been all been planned. It's been, it's been planned. It's been cooked and it's all in the hands of Nancy Pelosi. Now, when, we, when Trump said this early on, they gave him a hard time. They said he's a conspiracy theory. He went on the, the MSNBC and he tried to explain himself and this is how it went. You By the way, on that day, Nancy Pelosi, I, I, I don't have, I, why would day. I tell you that? Listen, Nancy Pelosi was in charge of security. She turned down 10,000 soldiers. If she didn't turn down the soldiers, you wouldn't have had January 6th. Did you call military or law enforcement? What? Did you call military or law enforcement at the moment the Capitol was under attack? I'm not going to tell you anything. I tell, okay. I, yeah, let me put it this way. I behaved so well. I did such a good job. Nancy Pelosi turned down 10,000 soldiers. If she didn't do that. But and now Nancy I understand, Pelosi doesn't have I the understand that, that you the police have testified the against her. Listen to me, Kristen. Listen to me. I understand that the police testified against her, the chief very strongly against mm -hmm. her, Capitol Police, great people. They testified against her and they burned all the evidence. Okay, they burned all the evidence. Mr. They President, destroyed all the evidence about Nancy Pelosi. What do you say to people who wonder why you, you as commander in chief, you have authorities that Nancy Pelosi doesn't have as no, commander in chief? No, no, she has authority over why the Why didn't Capitol. you send help in that moment, though? Uh, frankly, just so you understand, I assume that she took care of it. She turned down. So when you realized that that the National Guard wasn't coming, well, when, you didn't. You don't realize anything until quite a while. National Guard not coming. I yes, I asked it to be there three days in advance, and she turned it down. She says that that request was never officially made. Oh, just so it. you know. L let, let me just tell you. Let me ask you the about mayor pardons, of D let Mr. Me President. Tell you. The mayor of D.C. gave us a letter saying that she turns it down. Okay, we have it. Nancy Pelosi also was asked, and she turned it down. The police commission. I'm talking about Capitol the day police, of Wait a minute. Yep. Capitol Police said that he wanted it, and Nancy Pelosi wouldn't accept it. She's responsible for January Let's, 6th. Mr. President. Nancy Pelosi's responsible. Mr. President, and the J6 you're the president, though. You have, to interview you have authorities that no one else has as the commander-in-chief. Do you think you showed leadership on that? Day? Yes, absolutely, I did. Okay. <sighs> this reporter, such a bitch. My goodness, no respect. Just try to cut him off and try to fluster the guy. You see how they do him? But it's okay. It's okay. He said his piece and he put all the blame on Nancy Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi is in, in charge of the Sergeant of Arms, who was in charge of the Capitol Police. And they knew way ahead of time that they needed the National Guard. But Nancy Pelosi said, no, we're good. The optics is going to look bad. So January 6th happens. But they want to blame it on Trump. Trump incited a riot. Trump told his protesters to go out and cause mayhem. Nothing 
further from the truth. He said no such thing, but it kept pushing it. And the main character is, uh, who loves to push their propaganda is Biden. Every time he gets on, he loves to say the word insurrection. This wasn't a group of tourists. This was an armed insurrection. Now, you know, from now, he's been in office for four years and we got tons of clip that Mr. Biden is a fantastic fabulous. This guy is the liar of all liars. Golly. I went to law school on a full academic scholarship. The only one in my, in my class uh, to have a full academic scholarship. Went back to law school and, in fact, ended up in the top half of my class. I was the outstanding student in the political science department at the end of my year. I graduated with three degrees from undergraduate school and 165 credits. Only needed 123 credits. Biden now concedes he did not graduate in the top half of his law school class that he does not have three degrees from college, and that he was not named outstanding political science student in college. 30 years ago, Nelson Mandela walked out of prison and entered into discussions about apartheid. I had the great honor of meeting him. I had the great honor of being arrested with our UN ambassador on the streets of Soweto trying to get to see him on Robbins Island. Because I'm so damn old, I was there as well. <laughs> Seems like yesterday, the first time I got arrested anyway. Pittsburgh is a city of bridges, more bridges in Pittsburgh than any other city in America. I watched that bridge collapse. I got there and saw it collapse. If we I used to drive an 18-wheeler, man. Yeah. Oh, I wish oh, yeah. I could. <laughs> That's I awesome. got to. Yeah, I used to drive a tractor trailer. And, oh, awesome. Uh, and so I know a little bit about driving big trucks. If you don't know by now, whatever he says, I don't care if his tongue come notarized, don't believe a word that motherfucker says. Okay? He's a liar. So that comes to question with the with the election, the insurrection, the laptop, anything he says, uh corn pop, his uh, uncle being eaten by New Guinea cannibalism, anything that he says, you gotta give this guy the side eye. I think inflation has gone slightly up. It was at nine percent when I came in. And it's now down around 3% and bringing down inflation. It was 9% when I came to office. 9%. Inflation was actually 1.4% when Biden was sworn in. Nah, man. Nah. So we have proof of Miss Nancy Pelosi opening her mouth and letting the cat out the bag. Go. We have responsibility, Terry. We did not have any accountability for what was going on there, and we should have. This is ridiculous. You're going to ask me in the middle of the thing when they've already breached the, the uh, inaugural stuff that, that uh, uh, should we call the Capitol Police? I mean, the uh, National Guard? Why weren't the National Guard there to begin with? They thought that they had sufficient no, resources. There's not a question of how they had been. They don't know. They clearly didn't know, and I take responsibility for not having them just prepare for more. Yeah. Ta-da. Now, we've been saying this from the beginning. We have a Capitol Police chief who has resigned after knowing the truth, after requesting backup, and he was getting stand down. He resigned, he wrote a book, and he spilled the beans. He's been saying this for the last four years. By federal law, you know, Congress passed a law that, that pr requires me to go to the two, to the Sergeant Arms Capitol Police Board in advance of an event and to request uh, federal resources such as the National Guard. So Congress passed a law. It's 2 U.S. Uh, code 1970. Look it up. Uh, just make sure you look it up before December 22 when they changed it. Um, so what was in effect on the 6th that requires me to go and get approval for bringing in National Guard or fe federal assistance in advance have to go to the Capitol Police Board and get approval from congressional leadership in advance, like I did on January 3rd. I'm denied twice because of optics and because the intelligence didn't support it. So think about that. Let me ask you, who made that decision? Who denied you? Uh, I was denied by Paul Irving, House Sergeant Arms, uh, and also Mike Stinger. He has not wavered. He's been saying this for the, from the beginning. You know, everything that has been said about Nancy Pelosi has come true. And now here it is, audio, visual, he takes responsibility for it. What? 
but now she's out here trying to clean up the audio. Why do you think this is stirred up and a brouhaha on the on the right and in some corners of the media today? Well, because of the uh, the fact is that the president of the United States, the former president and his toadies do not want to face the facts. They're trying to do revisionist history on January 6th. Oh, no, 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 Nancy. No, no, no. You can't put the jail back in the tube. No, no, no. It's already out. We got you. But we know the media is going to carry your water. They're going to say what? It's the AI. The AI made this up. It's not really you. Uh, Elon Musk put it out there. The Russians put it out there. Fuck out of here. You people make me sick. Anyway, if you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you Democrats, get your ass off. Right.